Hello, my dear friends. It's early morning on a Tuesday. The birds are tripping. Sun is rising. Of course, I got to see the beautiful sunrise today. Wow, it was stunning. This morning, I would like to talk a little bit about setting some goals while you're rehabilitating, while you're in rehab. You have to sort of set goals for yourself and strive to achieve them, whatever it takes. Um, some of us are more burned out than others. Uh, some of us need more assistance and help than others. Um, I, for one, am one of those guys when it comes to forms and, and filling out forms and dealing with bureaucracy and offices and paperwork, my brain spills up like a balloon and I get anxiety and I feel like I need help and assistance. Although I did go through three years of uh, trial in, in a custody battle uh, <clears throat> against my own ex-wife, for my daughter and uh, as my own lawyer but that burned me out believe it or not and now I am no longer capable of taking on such tasks so now I am uh, uh, reaching out more and I am um, using the resources that are at my hand and there is so many guys there's so many resources out there like legal advocates uh, like um, family justice counselors, you know, like legal aid lawyers who are willing to talk to you um, and listen you out and many times take on your cases and help you out. There is people in rehab centers that are there to talk to you about all kinds of issues. There is all kinds of pamphlets and information everywhere. You just have to reach out basically and ask for it. Like right now, I've set goals, for example, based on love, pretty much, you know. Um, I've, I've, uh, I have to do my taxes, get my taxes updated. I've always been on top of it, but fell behind a couple of years. Finally found a friend who was loving enough, who understands me enough to help me. And she had helped me do it, you know. And I feel so relieved. Thank you. You know who you are. <sighs> you know, um, so that part is done. So I'm getting some goals achieved. Um, my teeth, my bad teeth, which I have damaged through many years of abuse, abusing my body and abusing myself in many ways. Um, I have to repair those teeth. Just so, you know, I feel better. Um, it's not so much for the ones who love me, because the ones who love me don't care. Um, it's more for for myself and you guys. Um, I don't want to look so bad. You know, nobody does. And I'm missing teeth, and everybody knows, and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I start my mornings setting goals and today I will start making phone calls and um, as a disabled person there is dental clinics actually that provide um, help for guys like me um, for a minimum, you know, payment and they will actually help me fix my teeth or get dental punch. Uh, par partials or something like that and also while I'm in the city I will push myself and, and that's the striving you know the push myself a little bit towards going to the Canadian Service Center and getting my passport more organized you know get one step closer to getting that passport you know the, unfortunately, to renew or to um, redo your passport, it's a pain in the butt. It is if you don't have all your IDs. And I had lost a bunch of my IDs also as a result of relapsing in the past. Things happen, you know, just like those teeth. We learn our lessons, hopefully, and don't go back, you know. So I've got all these goals to that I have set for myself, 
that I hope to achieve, you know, I hope to clean up my house a bit before my love comes and, and if she can come, you know, she's far away, she's a very ambitious woman, you know, a very brilliant woman that is, you know, striving right now, for example, to finish her thesis so that she can do her master's and PhD and, and and I see her as a person who is going to write some important books, for example, and someone who's going to help a lot of people in her life. And I know that uh, she really, really wants that. And I want that for her, too. I want her to be happy. So I have goals. She has goals. Every one of us has goals. And those goals should be based on love, not selfishness, you know. Um, I have been a bit selfish again, I have been putting pressure again, you know, I, I, I've been like that, I have to admit, and I am sorry, <sighs> you know, but, um, we have to have those goals, we have to strive for what we believe in, for what we love, and, um, Otherwise, we keep sinking in this hole, you know, where we are unhappy, you know, and that cannot be, you know. Um, for example, in order for me to be happy and finally have my woman at home and this and that, I have to first make sure that she is happy and fulfilled. Otherwise, that will never happen. Same with my daughter, you know. If I do not show my daughter love and care and I am happy, you know, like yesterday she was over and we had a talk about being happy together, you know, as long as we don't have that, we don't have anything. We must be happy. We must be happy. We must be happy inside individually and then happy together. That's what me and my daughter talked about yesterday, and uh, it was beautiful, you know? And um, basically, it's about being happy. It's about believing in yourself, believing in others, you know? And uh, not giving up. Even when you feel sad, when you feel lonely, all that, you know, make a list of things that you have to do for example or that you would like to do you know and then again um this is more directed towards people who are already on a good journey who are in rehabilitation like myself who are sticking to their program and they're doing even more like quitting cigarettes and um trying to change their lifestyle and um also you know people who are trying to achieve certain things you know <clears throat> because as addicts we fall behind on everything everything we don't take care of ever anything and then we have to pick up the pieces and and uh, pretty often we need help to do it <clears throat> so you know might as well start here might as well start at sunrise make some phone calls today um my taxes will be final by the end of today, I hope. Um, I will find out some more from far and away later on tonight. And I have to remember one thing. And you all have to remember one thing as well. Stay calm. Stay calm and open your heart. You know, like Frank Zappa said, minds are like parachutes. They don't work if they don't open. <laughs> and I'm very sorry that I'm so selfish sometimes. God damn it, you know, I, uh, I don't believe it, you know, but I am selfish sometimes. I am really selfish sometimes. And I'm sorry, you know, I'm not the only one who misses people. I'm not the only one who's alone. I know, I realize I have more than others. I should be grateful. And I am. One love. I promise you, today would be a good day. Because I will be also striving towards my goals set on love.